Hey guys, it's me Minori. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! So guys, today I'm so excited to be dun dun, unboxing toys from Target and Toys R Us. Look at all these toys. So a few days ago, I went to Target and Toys R Us and got all these artsy DIY toys. So if you guys have been following me, I've been back in the States, San Francisco, California to be exact, and it's been so much fun. I'm actually going back to Japan in a few days, so I'm so excited to unbox as many as I can today. Hmm, which one are you guys interested in? So yeah, we have so many unboxing to do. Let's just get started. Unboxing toys from Target and Toys R Us. Let's get started. So here I have a turning red shrink thing kit, which is so cute, but maybe later. I actually really want to try this out, and it's called Paint Pops. Have you guys ever heard of this before? Apparently you pop these small things to make some art. I don't know, it just sounds so satisfying. I think it's going to make a little bit of mess, but I'm going to try my best not to destroy my clothes. Let's see how it's like. So Paint Pops. Ooh, okay. I'm actually impressed how none of these are popped because I could imagine someone accidentally popping these. They look so squishable. Oh, so it comes with like normal paper. I think they're just like normal copy paper. I first thought this was like a random part of the box, but apparently it's like a shield. So here are some stencils. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> so this is a tool to pick up some paint balls. So you just want to squeeze it and suck it up. These are the paint squishers. So you place the paintballs inside and squish it. Same for this. You just want to put it inside and squish. After you squish it, you could use these like rollers to make some more art. And honestly, it's just art and could be creative from there. So for example, let me start with blue. Okay, it just smells like acrylic paint. So I'm just gonna pick one up, like so. Wait. It's not sucking in. Maybe I just need to do it harder? No. Um, it's not sucking it in. I could just use my hands. So I'm going to place a ball. I'm just gonna place it right inside this tool. And here we go. Three, two, one. <gasps> okay. Oh, it feels so weird. Okay, so I think this is like the jelly coating on the outside. So it's like a small balloon. I'm just having so much fun with this more than the paint. And after that, you can kind of like scrape it. You can make like lines. Ooh, fun. <laughs> you could also like roll it. Oh, that's fun. Ooh, this could be like a pretty background. And we made some like art. <laughs> it's just fun popping these little things. So this is our first piece of art. Like, I really want to try out these glitter ones. I wonder if I could just like squish it. And here we go. Three, two, one. Let me do more. And... <sighs> I'm actually happy it's not making as much mess that I thought it would. And... <laughs> I'm just gonna spread it out. Oh, the silver one is so overpowering. So apparently you could put like a stencil. Let me try this one. So I put two colors in. So I'm gonna put it over the stencil and pop. Oh, it wasn't that satisfying. I just wished it kind of splattered more. That was kind of a fail. I think I have more fun like popping it with my fingers. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I had fun at first. I thought it was really satisfying popping all the little balls but it kind of gets boring pretty quick. I just wanted it to like splatter a lot more. And I mean, this suction thing didn't work. Not the best art kit that I've played with, but a very interesting concept. But yeah, I think I'm done. Let's move on. Okay, next up, this gem kit. I'm guessing it's kind of like resin. And these are all the items inside. Let me quickly read the instructions. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I love it. Oh. You need batteries. BRB, guys. And I'm back. So what should I make? Let's start with the unicorn. Just gonna place it in like this. And add the gel. Ooh, okay. So 
so I'm going to try my best to put the gel in every small part so it doesn't like lose a leg or something. And now we get to add some sparkles. It's kind of weird how you put it in after you put it into the mold, but I'm just like following instructions. So let me add some sparkles. And I'm just gonna like mix it in. I wonder if this is like a real UV resin because like resin is pretty toxic and I wouldn't want my kids to be playing with resin. I don't know, I think it's still a smarter way to like mix it in a different container and then pour it in. <laughs> I think it makes things so much easier. Okay, so now I'm just gonna close it and cure. <gasps> that is so cute! Oh, look at the stars! So it's going to take three minutes. Ooh, I think it's ready. Okay, the reveal. Ta-da! Okay. And this is how it turned out. It's actually really, really pretty. I love the mold, I love the colors, and I love how easy it is to use. It's great! I love it! It's still a little bit sticky, so maybe it just might need a little bit more curing. Next, I want to make a bracelet. And I'm just going to squeeze in the resin. I hope there's enough resin to make a few more things. Okay, perfect. And onto the glitters, but honestly, I don't really like them. Let me look for some more glitters. Look what I found in my room. I think it's going to be really cute with these like sprinkles. And I'm just gonna like push them in. I'm just gonna wipe off the excess resin. I'm just gonna close it and cure. And meanwhile, I'm going to go eat some dinner. BRB. And I'm back. It's actually been like three hours. Ta-da! And it looks something like this. You know what? It's actually still kind of sticky. So I'm going to put it in there again and wait for another three minutes. Let's see if that helps. And okay, I think it's less sticky. I love the sprinkles. And now I want to make a few more things to put on the bracelet. I think it's just going to be really, really cute. Close. And we wait. And the reveal. I love it. <gasps> so small. I'm going to put a small dot right in the center. Place it right on top. And cure. And lastly, I'm going to put it back into this light and let it cure. <gasps> oh my gosh. Guys, this is so cute. I mean, I think this bracelet turned out really, really cute. <laughs> what do you guys think? So um, if I were to rate, I would rate the Pain Pops a 3 out of 10. I'm sorry. I mean, it was fun. It was so fun to squish them. I think it was like a really interesting idea, but I got bored of it really quickly. But I mean, yeah, it was satisfying. And for this gem kit, I would give it a 9 out of 10. It was fun, it was quick. I mean, I love the design, it's so pretty, and I really like how it turned out. I would give it a 9 out of 10. Okay, moving on. Okay, next up, let's try unboxing Turning Red Shrinky Dinks. So this was what was inside. So here we have some shrink dinks, some accessory parts, and coloring pencils. Wow, there's actually a lot of shrink dinks. There's so many to choose from. I definitely want to draw May. Hmm. Let's start with this. So there's this shiny side and the matte side. And you want the matte side up. Let me first try coloring it with these coloring pencils and if I feel like I need more, I'm gonna get some extra tools. And let's start coloring. So just a tip, when you shrink it, the color becomes like 10 times deep. So you wanna like color it very very lightly. But trust me, it's gonna turn out fine. Pink for her tongue and red for her hair. The color is going on really nice, really smooth. I'm actually really liking this kit. I also really like how it comes like pre-cut and a little bit of green. I want to color the outside all red. Okay, just a little bit more and there we have it. And next up, the red panda. 
Again, like I said before, I've was turning red and I think it's so cute. I think a lot of people can relate to her, especially if you're a girl, because it's basically about a girl getting her first period. So yeah, it's really, really cute, but honestly, probably not my favorite, favorite Disney movie. So I'm not like super crazy about it, but I really liked it. And here's our red panda. So I want to like put these two together. Let me try making a few more stuff. I love her eyes. Hmm. Tamagotchi! <laughs> okay, let's go with this. And some brown for her hair. And green for her hat. And I want to make like stripes in the background. Yellow stripes. By the way, what did you guys think about the movie? Like, I used to be like that good girl. I did the flute. I took French lessons. I played with Tamagotchi. It reminded me a lot of stuff. And for this, I'm going to color the letters yellow. Okay, perfect. And Tamagotchi with me. I used to play Tamagotchi all the time. I remember my mom went to go buy it for me in a really, really long line. I want to make it a little bit special and add a little bit of orange on the bottom. Like this gradient effect. I don't know if this is going to show up, but I'm going to color her eyes red. And the Tamagotchi. I actually want to color it in the color that I had. Oh my gosh, this brings back so many memories. I just remember my friend had the green one. And I was like, I want green. So pink on the bottom. I'm just going to color this part yellow. Again, this is optional. But I'm going to use my Posca paint pen. Just adding some like cute extra sparkles. This is how they currently look. Let's put it in the oven and shrink them. I love it! And like I said, the colors turn out really, really dark. They're so small. They're a lot smaller than I thought. Okay, let's turn them into little accessories. Oh, you can make it into a hairpin! I think if you want to make it into a hairpin, you should just like chop this part off. So I'm just gonna hook this and this together. I like how you can just do this with your hands. You don't need like extra tools. And ta -da! It's so cute! Let's add some beads. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, perfect. I love it. I like how you can make it like completely original. So here's like a keychain. You could also put it on here. So you can make it like into earrings. And you could get these like double-sided tape and glue it on right here. So there's so many things you can make with these. And this is how they turned out. What do you guys think? I actually had a lot of fun. I would rate this 8 out of 10. Okay, moving on. Okay, next up, I really want to play with this pottery machine. It's either going to turn out really, really good or really, really bad. Ta-da! Um... <laughs> yeah. Oops. In the machine. Okay, let me quickly get some batteries. By the way, I didn't have any batteries, so I had to go all the way to CVS and come back. And so there's this, like, witch hat thing that I'm guessing it's going to go right here. Uh-huh, I see. Oh, got it. So here I have some spray with some water. Perfect. And um... Let's see what it can make. So here's some clay and I love how it comes flat. So here I have this roller so I'm just gonna make it flat. A little bit more flat. I think this kit would have been nice with a roller. I mean, it's a little bit thick, so I want to make it flat. And time to put this right on top like so. And I'm just going to start molding it into shape. Oh, this is fun! I guess you could use some water if you have to. It's so smooth now. Oh, this is actually really, really fun. And now I'm just going to cut off the excess. Mm. I got some lipstick on myself. And now I think I'm gonna like spray a little bit more water and kind of let it spin. Okay. I mean, it's working. I think you need a lot of water. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's working. This is so much fun. Not bad. 
And now again, I'm just gonna cut off the excess. And again, I'm gonna spray some water and let it spin. Oh my gosh, guys, I love this. I feel like this may be like the best toy I've ever gotten. And now I'm just gonna lift this up and carefully take out the silicone inside. <gasps> oh my gosh! Um, 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 okay. Now I'm gonna spray some inside and kind of like fix it up. Oh my gosh, it's looking so good! I've always wanted to try pottery. I love it! And to make it extra cute, I want to add like ears. I think the only thing that this kit is missing is like a rolling pin. But other than that, I give this 10 out of 10. Just gonna add like, like two small ears. So guys, this is my first creation. So now I'm just gonna leave it aside for it to dry. Apparently it takes like five hours. Let's try making some more stuff. How about like a plate? Actually, I have no clue what I'm making. <laughs> okay, never mind. Let me try making something else. Spray some water and spin. I'm gonna smooth it down and cut off the excess. I mean, a little bit bumpy, but still not like horrible. So now I guess I could take it out. I'm going to make some like lines. Why am I so focused? And this is my second creation. I mean, it's not perfect, but still it's something. Okay guys, I wanna make one last creation. I also like how it comes with a lot of clay. I mean, I still have one more bag. Again, I'm just gonna roll it out just a bit and I'm going to place it on top like so. Let me trim off the excess. Let me take this out and the silicone thing out. So I first wanted to make it into like a cup, but it's just a little bit too low. So instead, I wanna put like two handles on each side to make it look like a pop. I think it's gonna be really cute. And this is my third creation, a small pot. I think it will be really cute to put like accessories inside. So now let's wait until it's completely dry. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is such a mess. And there's a lot of clay left. Okay, while we're waiting for the clay to dry, let's unbox some mini brands. I honestly want to get like all the Crayola stuff and put it in the back. I think it's going to be a cute display. Okay, first we've got ooh, an X shot. Also like a Nerf gun, a miniature Nerf gun. Okay, okay next we've got hmm, a super ball. So is it just like a bouncy ball? I kind of want to like open it and see if it's actually bouncy. Is it or is it just like a bead? So like a super ball. We've got Ren Stimpy. Um, I actually don't know, so I'm guessing it's like a character from Nickelodeon. Um, I'm not too sure. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> but I mean, Ren Stimpy it is. And for the fourth one, we've got... Oh, we got Hey Arnold! I used to watch it all the time. I didn't know that he was still around. So one, two, three, four. And this is the last one, the reveal. Ta-da! So I got a Rubik's Cube. <gasps> That's so cute! Oh, it's a miniature Rubik's Cube. I wonder if it really works. Ooh, and it's metallic. So I'm guessing this is like the rare version. Let's open one Disney Store mini brand. 
first we've got Bo Peep. Ooh, I love Bo Peep. But I think I already have her. Okay, next. Here we've got Star Wars. <gasps> R2D2! The packaging and everything is just so nice. But again, I think I had R2D2 as well. Hmm, I want something new. Ooh, a Snow White doll. The Animator's Collection. One of my like favorite dolls ever. And next, here we've got <gasps> Flynn Rider! I'm actually really happy. I don't think I have him yet. I have the rest of my collection in Japan, so I want to bring him back to Japan. And last but not least, here we've got, oh my gosh, Darth Vader. Um, I actually don't have him. Honestly, I'm just in love with all these Disney mini brands. So cute. Okay, and I think I'm done unboxing mini brands. And here's my creations. I think they all turned out really cute, but my favorite is definitely my first one. So on to the next step, let's start painting. So the kit came with four colors, but honestly, I don't like these colors. I mean, they're pretty, but I want to use something else for this. And a little bit of green. And I'm just going to start painting. Okay, so this is actually still a little bit wet. It said it's going to take at least five hours to dry, but I'm kind of powering through because my flight back to Japan is in a few hours. I am kind of thinking about moving here permanently, but I mean, it's gonna take a while. So until then, I'm just gonna go back and forth a lot. But I'm gonna be traveling a lot more this year. And the reveal. I think it turned out really, really cute. I think it fits right in the background, and I want to put like small accessories inside. Maybe like paper clips, pins. So yeah, I love it so much. How about I put him like right here? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to make more creations and like put them up in the back. Anyways, I think that's it for today. So for my last toy kit, I would rate it 10 out of 10. So I had a lot of fun today, and I hope you guys liked it too. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and a comment below. There's a lot more toys that I want to unbox, so please, please let me know if you guys liked this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!